back to my channel, Lucy Loops Crochet. Um, I'm just making a little crochet vlog today to keep myself accountable because I have been working on this commission for literally three weeks and I need to finish it this weekend. So it's a scarf. I was working on my last video and then it got abandoned because I wanted to do other stuff, but I need to have it done this weekend. So I only have like this, hello this much of yarn left and I just do the whole I just have to finish the yarn and then the project will be done so I'm gonna try to hold myself accountable um, I'm watching some YouTube right now and I'm just gonna watch my watch my YouTube and crochet and hopefully I can get this done and then I'll move on to some of my other commissions Also, real quick, I don't think I mentioned, um, but the pattern for this is literally just chain 31, and then it's just a shell stitch for, like, literally, I haven't even counted how many rows. I just do however long this yarn lasts. I think it's mandala yarn. Anyways, I'm gonna crochet some more on camera, and then I'll check in later. Hopefully, I'll have, like, another segment of this done, and we'll be good okay so it's the next day um i did procrastinate it's an issue but i did finish the scarf um so here it is i haven't sewed it together yet but it's gonna i think it'll look pretty good and then i have to sew my tag on as well i didn't realize until after i made a scarf because this is the first time i've made scarves but they're like i never realized how big scarves are I don't know, I always thought that they were like small, but they're not. It's weird. Anyways, um, I'm gonna sew it together and then I think we'll be good to go. Okay, so I just seamed the whole thing together. So now it is one big long circle. Um, and then I just have to weave in these little ends. This is how much yarn I had left over after making the whole thing from a cake that was about what this big um so that's where we're at also this is my precarious filming situation it's just two tumblers stacked on top of each other so that nearly fell like five times while i was filming that time lapse but it's okay <laughs> okay um i'm gonna weave in the ends and put on my tag and then we'll be good to go Okay, so this is my stack of scarves right here. Um, I have this, the first one I have is this pink one right here. It's kind of pink and then gray with the color scheme. Um, so that's one. And then this is the first one that I made and it's gray and blue. Um, and then this is the one that I just finished and it is blue and then goes into like green kind of colors um and then I sewed on my tag to all of them so this is it's a tag I got on Etsy like what two years ago I don't really use the logo anymore but I have like a 30 pack and I'm not about to waste them I don't know if it focused maybe it'll focus hello I don't know but it just says like Lucy Loops crochet um so that's what i have on those and then i also have these little like cardboard boxes that kind of fold out like this to put them in but i want to customize them and i have like literally a megaton of gel pens because when i was in like fourth or fifth grade literally for like two or three years i had a gel pen obsession so i have like a giant collection so i'm gonna decorate some little boxes for them and then i'll have like cute little boxes to put stuff in and then i'm gonna go deliver them if she texts me back we'll see if she texts me back in time okay okay so here's my giant pack or my giant bag of gel pens um it's actually kind of crazy it's not all gel pens there's some like sharpies in here and stuff i don't know if you can see that but I like the sparkly ones, so I'm gonna dig out some sparkly ones and then I might color code them, but we'll see. I probably won't, okay, yeah.
bars are done, checked off the list. Um, I actually really enjoy decorating those little boxes. I feel like they're so fun. Um, so I'm just waiting on the girl who ordered them to tell me when she wants me to deliver them. Um, and then we'll go on a little drive and we'll deliver those. But now, for the time being, I am working on this other commission of a throw blanket. This is the Karen Cake Anniversary yarn. Um, I don't remember what shade it is, but I really like this. I've made this blanket before, so it's just pretty easy. It's like one giant granny square. Um, so that's what I'm gonna be working on for now. Also, if you saw in my last few clips, you can actually see my nails, Hollow Taco, 10 out of 10. It's the new, it's the limited edition magnetic polish and I love it. It is so pretty and it's so fun to work with and I love it. I like sparkles. I need to put a top coat on, but you know. Okay, ta-ta. Okay, so I was gonna work on the blanket and then my friend asked if I wanted to go to Target and like go and hang out. So I did go hang out with her instead. Um, but I'm gonna make dinner now and then after dinner, I'll work on the blanket. Okay, so I worked on this a little bit, not a ton, but I got like a decent amount-ish done for now. I think it's like three or four rows. Um, but I have once again decided to just change my mind out of nowhere. I've decided that I want a sweater vest to wear this weekend. Don't know why, just felt like it. So we now have a um, sweater vest in progress, but here is square one and square two. Um, and I think I need 17 squares. So I'm working on that. I think each of these takes me about like 20 to 30 minutes, but I'm hoping to speed that up. Um, I have another one right here that's in progress. And then I'll show you my yarn in a sec. I've decided that I, all, I want all of them to be like part of my color palette in the middle and then a round of black and a round of gray. So we're gonna cross our fingers that I have enough yarn if not, we're just gonna make it work. I feel like it could be a vibe. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but here is kind of the situation right now with my color palette. It's literally all just random yarn that I have in my shelf. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm planning to do, I'll have the 17 squares and then I'm gonna do like a border around the neck border on the arms and then ribbing on the bottom. So wish me luck. I'm gonna crochet for a couple hours. Hopefully I'll be able to get wet uh, to do some more of these squares. I have like three days to get it done, kind of, ish. So I'm hoping to get a decent amount of the squares done today. And then we'll go from there. good together so I don't know we'll see okay wish me luck okay so it's one two three one two three it's almost 1 a.m um which is just delightful uh but I just finished sewing all the squares together um I'm a little nervous because I tried it on a bit and she needs like about four more squares, but I'm thinking I could kind of make it to less than that because I don't know how many color combinations, like, I don't know how many more color combinations I can come up with for these squares. So I'm thinking because I need, okay, so this is what I have so far.
Thanksgiving, which is tomorrow's Friday, Saturday, but at like four. So I will probably end up just like working right up until four o'clock to get it done. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm liking how it's looking so far, though. I think it'll, I think it'll turn out good. But yeah, I'm gonna try to fix the edges and then. Okay, so it's the day of um, that I'm going to wear this, and I have been working on it for quite a while. Um, last you saw, I was sewing it all together, and then I realized that I didn't like having these squares on the sides, so I took them off and I put them on the top as the shoulders, and then I added in these panels of, like, gurney stitches on the sides, and I think it fits a lot better. So right now I am just working on the ribbing for the arms. So I'm gonna do there, 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 and then on the bottom, we'll see how I feel about that. But that's where we're at. Um, and then I wove in all the ends, so we're good on that. It took me forever, I hate weaving in ends. But this is where we're at right now. Okay, so I finished the sweater and I wore it then um for thanksgiving but i put off like filming it i was tired and i went to sleep um and then i put it off for like another like three weeks so it is now like closer to christmas time which is just a delight but i finished it in time um and i got to wear it and i did the i did back post um double crochet for these for the sides and the neck and then for the bottom i did um, back post treble crochet for the ribbing to finish it all off and I think it turned out pretty well um but here's how it turned out here's the front and then here's how the back turned out which I think is cute and then oh yeah I also have the side panels so that's how it looks um and I'm gonna I might steam block it eventually but I'm not sure it depends on my dedication um so that's where we're at. Um, sorry for putting it off so long. I'm gonna go decorate my Christmas tree. Um, but yeah, okay, like and subscribe.